It's day four of the INEC retreat with the National Assembly on the reform of the electoral legal framework in the country. As technology changes and as different stakeholders find ways around laws to further their electoral ambitions, legislators and election administrators have to constantly review laws to protect the credibility and the legitimacy of electoral processes. Chairman of INEC, Yakubu Mahmoud, says the issues of overvoting, INEC neutrality and electronic voting will revolutionize the method and outcome of voting in the country. The electoral legal framework should provide clear procedures for party primaries and consequences for violation. One thing is clear here. The National Assembly, along with INEC, need to work together to amend the nation's electoral laws. For the ninth National Assembly, reforming our electoral legal framework at this time is an extremely important and necessary national assignment. The need for the amendment of our Electoral Act 2010 becomes absolute necessity against the backdrop of election malpractice, widespread rejection of declared results by the people, as well as loss of lives and property that usually go along with such electoral flaws. More importantly, our electoral laws appear to be outdated and ill-equipped to adequately address these concerns that the very foundation of our democracy calls for. And the electoral umpire himself and the former deputy Senate president believe that Nigeria is both ripe and ready for the electronic voting. When we passed the electoral act in 2010, we specifically in section 52, said that there should be no electoral, electronic voting. But a few months later, we realized that it will not help us. So at the third end of the Seventh National Assembly, we further amended Section 52 to say that INEC can proceed and use electronic voting in its processes. So, But INEC has not been able to do that. I suggest to them, therefore, that what they need to do is to find an off-season election and be able to to, uh, to use the, the, the electronic voting, yes, and then use, yes, use it to uh, test run it and then see how that works. The voters register is already electronic. We are already using technology to accredit voters at the polling units using the cards and the smart card readers. So all we need to do is to step it up by doing electronic transmission of results and possibly ultimately to do electronic voting. As the months slide into 2023, another election year in Nigeria, both legislators and INEC have resolved that there are new challenges with the credibility and legitimacy of the electoral processes which this retreat hopes to achieve. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.